Welcome to Medication Monday. This is where we go over a different EMT drug. We do it specifically in EMT drug card format. As always, follow your local protocol and scope of practice. Enjoy. Today's medication is called Vecuronium, also known as Norcuron. Your, the class that it falls under is non-depolarizing neuromuscular blockers or paralytics. So your mechanism of action or how it works in the body is that it antagonizes the acetylcholine at the motor end plate and this induces skeletal muscle paralysis. Your indications are going to be rapid sequence intubation, sometimes referred to as rapid sequence induction as well. As always, before we touch on dosages, please always abide by your local protocol and stay within your scope of practice. Your dose is going to be 0.1 to 0.2 milligrams per kilogram IV push with a maintenance dose every 45 to 60 minutes of 0.8 to 1.2 milligrams per kilogram. Your pediatric dose is going to be 0.1 to 0.3 milligrams per kilogram IV or IO with a maintenance dose every 20 to 35 minutes of 0.01 to 0.05 milligrams per kilogram IV or IO. Your contraindications include the inability to control the airway or provide positive pressure ventilations, penetrating eye injuries, hepatic, or renal failure. Some adverse reactions of vecuronium can include transient hypotension, apnea, dysrhythmias, bronchospasms, nausea and vomiting, respiratory depression, PVCs, and tachycardia or bradycardia. Drug interactions. Inhalation anesthetics can potentiate the effects of vecuronium, and it is supplied in 10 or 20 milligram vials that require reconstitution. A few side notes about vecuronium. It doesn't change the patient's LOC, and it doesn't change their pain sensation. So the patient knows what's going on and can feel pain. So that is why it is so, so important that a patient must be sedated before the paralytic is given and that sedation must be maintained and ventilatory support has to be ready. Depending on your protocol, decreased doses for patients with renal failure should be considered and your onset is between one to three minutes. Remember to always abide by your local protocol and stay within your scope of practice. This video is purely informational for those in the EMS field and never meant to be used in the place of medical direction, local protocol, or formal education. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next week. Bye!